Good morning. So welcome to day, is it seven now or eight of Vlogcember. I know I didn't get to put up a vlog yesterday. That's because my camera broke. I let you guys know that in my previous video where I talked about long distance relationships. I'm so sorry. Like my thing just broke on me out of nowhere and I was just so upset because I have to use this big old camera. This is the camera I'm using right now. I hate, hate, hate this camera. And sorry if I'm looking a little dusty right now. I'm putting on makeup. And yeah. Um, I need to spray my face though. Guys, literally I have no lashes right now because um, all my lash extensions dropped out. But it's been like a month now or even over that. It's been over a month. So yeah. I'm just going to spray my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup. Setting spray? My bottle is so dirty. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whew. So I'm about to get ready to make this video. Oh my god, I didn't even do my eyebrows. What was I thinking? Wow. See, because this is all like covering my face. I'm totally forgetting to do my eyebrows. Am I crazy? Like, I'm not even feeling my makeup today. And yeah. I think it's because I don't have lashes. But where was I going without my brows? Am I crazy? Do, 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 do. Hello, hello, hello. So I just finished taking out my hair, as you can see. Um, do I love the results? I wouldn't say I love it, because every time I do this style, I don't think I ever love it because it's just so short. If it was long, like really long and like really big, I think I would like it better. But um, yeah, these are the results. Of course, I picked it out and fluffed it out and made it bigger. So it wasn't this frizzy, but I don't really mind the frizz. And anyways, I am washing it most likely today because I'm supposed to dry it and um, well, blow dry it and stuff. So my friend can braid it before I go to Blue Mountain. <clears throat> I'm going to do the four braids again with the extensions because... I'm not trying to do my hair while I'm there, and I don't think these will last, to be honest. These curls, well, it could last, but I don't think I want them to. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't decided, so just finished filming with my big bad boy right here. And as you can see, I'm filming with my Sony A6000 right now, which has no flip-out screen, which is pretty annoying. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this hair. I will have a tutorial up, I think it's going up December 14th. I know long from now, but it's coming. Okay, so my camera ended up cutting off because it said that I had no more space, so I had to go and delete stuff off of it. I freaking hate this camera, you guys understand? So right now I'm about to film another video. Um, I'm filming my favorite products of 2016. Yeah, I got a few products. I'm still debating on the ones I wanna share because I shared this one last year and I shared this one last year but these still are my favorite moisturizer and my favorite deep conditioner so it's like do I share it again I can just do like a brief thing stating you know why I love them so much and then go more into depth about these ones so yeah that's the plan right now um I have to do it before the sun goes down because it's almost, it's 2 o'clock, but really like 3 o'clock because, you know, um, daylight savings, so I don't have a lot of time. The sun goes down super early now. And then I gotta go to the mall, start packing, fix my nail, wax, because we're going in the, what do they have? They have a jacuzzi there and like, I'm hairy right now, bro. Like, <laughs> my legs are hairy. I was saving it all of that before I go to, um... Before I go to Houston, but it's looking like that's not gonna happen right now. Where is my lip gloss? Darn it. Ow. Hmm. I don't know where I put this thing. Yo, do you, does that ever happen to you guys? You guys use something and then it just goes missing and you're just like where the hell did it go like I was just using it comment down below if that happens to you 
Anyways, I'm gonna try to find this because I need to make this video ASAP Rocky. And let me know what you guys think about my hair. I think it's pretty cute. Um, if it was a little bit longer, I would like it even more or a little bit bigger. It's not as big as I wanted it. But maybe over time, a couple days, it'll get bigger. Still deciding if I'm gonna braid my hair or not because I don't know if I want to deal with this when I go to Blue Mountain, but we're gonna see. And guys, you guys can probably notice the quality. Tell me this quality is not as good as my other camera. This one is sucky to me, like it's so dark. The only thing that I like better about this camera is the sound. The sound quality is, is A1. Okay, anyways, I'm running out of breath. I need to find this lip gloss and get my video popping. All right. And if you guys are wondering where my shirt is from, I did cut it myself and it says melanin on it. Um, I will leave the Instagram page or the, um, the shop down below where I got it from. And also for my necklace as well, I'll leave the link down below where you can get it yourself. And I have like a 5-10% discount code, so yeah. So I just finished filming. Guys, my throat. <clears> throat> I'm dying right now. <laughs> my throat. If you guys want to know what camera I use, I use the, oh there you can see, you can see me, you can see. I use the Canon 80D along with a 50 millimeter lens, which you can get, the, the camera's pretty expensive. The 50 millimeter lens is like a hundred and something, I don't know, a hundred something dollars, 150, I don't know. Something like that, and this is the STM lens, so it doesn't make noise. You can't hear the noise when it's focusing. Okay, so these are a bunch of the products. As you can see, my setup is so whack. <laughs> I sit on this pillow. You can see the white background, and yeah, which is the closet. Yeah, my setup's pretty whack um, when I move out, and when I get my own spot, it's gonna be popping. Gonna be popping, but... Sometimes you just gotta work with what you have. Speaking of my background, let me just put my camera down and just talk to you guys about something real quick. Let me just rant. I had this one girl comment on my channel the other day and she was pretty much like, you know, you're not putting enough effort into your brand. You should be making more videos. What happened to your main channel videos? You're putting out all these lame videos on your vlog channel, all these weak videos pretty much like video, it's a vlog, like come on girl. Anyways, she was like, you should be pushing your brand more like Raven Elise, Vicky Logan, DK4L. You could be so much more successful. Um, all right, and you're, do you even make enough money? You're, you're still living with your parents. You're the, one of the only YouTubers I know that live with their parents. And um, yeah, she pretty much said that. And she's like, oh, you don't put any effort into your main channel videos. What happened to your hair videos? That's the only reason I subscribe to you. And not all your videos have to be sponsored. And then I was just like, hold up. Hold up, like I get it, constructive criticism in a way, and these are all things that I know I can put a lot more into my videos, just it's the circumstance that I'm in and that I have to deal with right now. Anyways, I ended up replying back to her, I was like, actually, I make great money, and I don't think you should compare me to other people because everybody's situation is different. Like, you could be seeing this and this on YouTube, but you really don't know what's going on behind the scenes, you have no idea. So then what else did I say? I said, actually, I do put effort into my main channel videos, I, they're well thought out. I think she's just mad because I didn't make natural hair videos anymore because I actually just am kind of like going away to that, like going away from natural hair videos. Like I love natural hair and everything, but I'm doing more with my channel now. Of course I started with natural hair because that's when I was on my hair journey and I want to share, you know, all my tips and tricks and styles and all that stuff, but I'm a, I grew as a person and I like to share other things now, but I'm still definitely gonna do natural hair videos, so yeah. What else happened? <laughs> and then she had the nerve to say, she called it back and was like, actually, I can tell that you you don't make a lot of money. And then she was like, I see you wear the same Fashion Nova pads all the time. And I was like, but wait, girl, I thought this was constructive criticism. Now you're just hating. So I'm like, this girl trying to come for me, but at the same time, she's trying to give herself, give me constructive criticism. I'm like, no, I'm sorry. I don't want your negativity on my channel. I blocked her on both channels because I'm like I don't need you so yeah that was my little rat all I'm saying is that there's people who watch your videos and they really do not know what is going on what's happening like do you even know why I'm staying at home no you don't know <laughs> you don't know why I'm staying at home you don't know why I'm not making as much videos as I could be making you have no idea so stop assuming shit you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying you don't even you don't even know how much money is in my bank account you don't know this oh so, 
I digress, guys. Like, I'm just... That, that situation right there, it, it ticked me off a lot because I'm like, yo, this girl just thinks she knows me and it's not even the case. But anyways, if I see people writing stupid shit on my channel, like, I just block them. That's it. I'm not even gonna reply to you guys anymore. I'm just gonna block you because I don't need to prove myself to nobody except for myself and God. Most people picked to talk about long distance relationships and like how to make it work so that's what we're gonna be talking about today today is just a chill day me chilling hey yeah <laughs> both people have to want to be in the relationship want to have this long distance relationship um they have to be putting in the effort both people have to be putting in you know 100 percent effort so for me at first when i was in the relationship I, I wasn't giving my all i can admit that 